I'm Scott Frolick. I'm joined by Steve Boyle from Environment Canada. We're talking about that the tornado that hit down near Mascouche on Monday afternoon. And I have to say, it comes as a surprise, but is that only for me and maybe for those who aren't paying attention? Or is this something that is very rare? Well, the, the strength of the tornado probably uh, is pretty rare. Uh, last time we had in well, it's not uh, officialized yet that it's an AF2 tornado, but based on the uh, damages that my my colleagues uh, saw on the on on the ground there yesterday, we're looking at AF2, so 180 200 kilometers per hour damaging winds. This type of of tornado uh, force is not necessarily common. Last time was September 2019, a little bit further east. Uh, in, in, in both Quebec, but the province of Quebec, on average, it's six or seven per year uh, for any tornadoes. Uh, sometimes we, we had our years of 12 or 13, uh, but we could only, only uh, count two or three. So, uh, so far this year, I think it's the, the, the fifth already. So uh, it, it, it's probably we're looking in the, into a, a, a good year for tornadoes, if I could uh, speak this way. What advice does Environment Canada have if there's a, a tornado warning or a watch that people should take care of on, on that rare instance when it's actually near them. For the watches that we send out, we uh, we expect people to, to to prepare for a plan for escape and, and to, to find shelter. The most obvious is to, to go in a basement of, of a solid house because those tornadoes, what they will do is that they will, they will try to blow it away. So if you're low lying uh, in a basement, a Away from the windows because what what's most dangerous is the strength of the wind. So flying debris, you don't want to be hit by one of those. So we're not in the U.S. In the U.S., they they, they built their you know uh, holes in the ground and they they they, they, they hide themselves there. Uh, we we don't necessarily have that many tornadoes to 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 um, to ask people to do that but uh, that's what they do in the US so you want to have a solid uh, construction if you don't have any other places you want to hide from the uh, the thunderstorm itself so so the the the, the lightning uh, so eventually if you're in the middle of the 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 the, the a field or you know nowhere close to a house or a solid construction you can hide it in, into your car, but that's you know, uh, in, into a, a vehicle. But uh, uh, there's there's uh, you have to 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 prepare uh, for for you know for a plan to 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 get some somewhere and, and protect yourself. It's very uh, difficult, especially when you don't expect it. As as we don't right, we just don't expect tornadoes to to strike anywhere near us. But oh, Steve, thank you very much for your time today. Uh, and, and thank you very much for those uh, words of warning when it comes to safety so that we can uh, plan in the future. Thank you.